Ooh, look at that. We got orange, orange, orange. Hi, it's doing the Sam next door. Today I thought we'd do something fun. It's starting to feel like fall outside, which is my favorite season, so I'm so excited. I am a late bloomer. I am a late adopter. I am all those things. And so it's just very appropriate that I'm also late to the game for orange wines and natural wines. So today is gonna be my first time trying an orange wine that happens to be a natural wine. So let's get into orange wines first. Orange wines are simply wine that is made with white grapes with the same method as red grapes. You keep the skin on white grapes, just like you would do with the red grapes. That gives it more color and also gives it more tannins. So orange wines in comparison to white wines will have a richer flavor. Now, not all orange wines are natural wines. If it's a natural wine, they use natural yeast that is formed on the grapes. They don't use any filtration, so that's why it's a little more cloudy. They can use sulfur, but they tend to use very little sulfur, and then they don't use any other additives. So this wine, they use a little bit of sulfur just at the end of the process, right before they bottle it. Ooh, it smells fantastic. So in the notes, it says this is like kind of spicy, kind of energetic, which I'm like, ooh. On the nose, it's kind of tangerine, which is funny because it's orange wine. Golden apples, maybe a little passion fruit too. It doesn't smell oxida oxidative at all. So another thing with uh, natural wines, not all, but some of them aren't meant to be aged if they don't have any sulfur. It's just temperamental. So the cool cool thing and also, I don't know, the interesting thing about natural wines is that not every bottle is going to be the same, especially if they're living and breathing and they don't put that much sulfur. It's going to change while it's in the bottle or the yeast on the grapes are going to be different from year to year. Oh wow, this is 12.5% alcohol. So they say a lot of natural wines have a cidery taste to it. And I can kind of get that. My first initial thought is it's a cross between a wine and a sour, a sour beer. It does have like a mustier smell mustier flavor like this people will call it barnyardy some people will come in being like i want wine that tastes like old sneakers and i was like what you know it doesn't have a long finish the length of how long it stays in my mouth is very short it does have a good acid it has a lot of good fruit characters oh now i'm getting some of the spice towards the end so there's some Gewürztraminer in here, which is kind of giving that floral and that spiciness. That's where it's coming. I I'm really trying to think what I would pair with this, but you know, like for my first time trying, it's much better than I thought it would be. Much better. You know, I, I was really scared. I was like bracing myself with food. I don't think you would want anything very strong you would go with, I think with vegetables, it would actually go really well. Like roasted Brussels sprouts. Something with a little funk too, like mushrooms, I think, and this would go very, very well. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I guess I should try more orange wines, natural wines. Look at that. I'm almost done with this glass. Um, I surprised myself. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I think I might even oh, pour me some more. <laughs> look, look, I even, I'm even at saying I want some more. Well, you guys, thank you guys for joining me on my first orange wine, natural wine experience. Someone asked for a review on or a lesson on orange wine. So here you go. And yeah, man, um, I'm, I'm a believer. I'm a, I'm a 
orange wine believer now. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And cheers, everybody. I'll see you guys next time.